This recipe for Colleen's slow cooker jambalaya was submitted by an All Recipes member who noted that this recipe came about from a lot of experimenting over the years. My family and friends like this version the best. Serve it over cooked rice. Start by preparing your chicken. Take one pound of boneless, skinless chicken breasts and cut them into one inch cubes. You can also substitute boneless chicken thighs for a little bit of a richer flavor. Add the meat to the slow cooker. Now for the Cajun touch. Slice a pound of andouille sausage. What would jambalaya be without that smoky, salty goodness? Cut the sausage into thick slices. Add the sausage to the slow cooker. Add one 28 ounce can of diced tomatoes, juice and all. This makes it a red Creole style of jambalaya rather than the Cajun style that leaves tomatoes out. Next, you can move on to the holy trinity of Creole cooking, the fragrant mix of onions, celery, and green bell peppers. You'll wanna chop one large onion, one large green pepper, and two large celery ribs. That'll make a cup of chopped celery. Toss the vegetables into the slow cooker. Add one cup of chicken broth, and some herbs and spices to add some punch. You'll need two teaspoons each of dried oregano, dried parsley, one teaspoon of cayenne pepper for some heat, two teaspoons of Cajun seasoning, and a half teaspoon of dried thyme. Stir all the ingredients together. Cover and cook it for seven to eight hours on low or three to four hours on high. With a half hour left to go, stir in one pound of cooked and cleaned shrimp without the tails on. You can serve this jambalaya over your favorite rice and top it with a dash of cayenne or hot sauce to kick it up even more. It's Creole comfort food made for a crowd.